and welcome back to The Dawn Show. So this is a one-of-a-kind event in Philadelphia, the Taste of Philly. You've got to make plans to come this year if you've never been before. It's Wednesday, November 13th. We welcome back to the show Brian Friedman, who is the restaurant critic for Philadelphia Weekly. Best job ever. It's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> and we want to welcome to the show Paul McDonald, who's the beverage manager for the Farmer's Cabinet. So good to have you here, Paul. Good to be here. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about the Farmer's Cabinet. Um, we are a, uh, an heirloom American restaurant with a very strong focus on craft beer and craft cocktails. Um, we uh, just released our fall menu uh, for food and cocktails both, and we uh, are including a lot of really cool house-made ingredients um, and a lot of really unique kind of archaic liquors and cool stuff like that. Oh, it's beautiful. All that wood and mm -hmm. little jazz. Mm -hmm, nice. So what, uh, what are you going to make for us? Some of the drinks? Yeah, uh, yep, absolutely. I'm going to start out by making one of our uh, biggest sellers off that new, uh, new cocktail menu, the Fair Trade. Which is nice because Brian and I already had our, our beers for the morning, mm -hmm. so now we'll have the, mm -hmm. the liquor. Yep, so it's exactly. a warm-up lap. <laughs> yeah, it's a decap. <laughs> so you're going to start out with your freshly squeezed lemon juice. All right. While you're pouring that, mm -hmm. is it, does it make that big a difference if you use fresh lemon juice as opposed to the stuff in the little plastic lemon that you get in the supermarket? It makes all the difference <laughs> in the world. Okay. When you're making a simple drink like a whiskey sour or something, it is the reason that one is better than the other. Okay. Fresh lemon juice, fresh citrus juice, fresh ingredients are of the essence. What's that? Vanilla extract. <laughs> <laughs> Not as sinister <laughs> as it <dropper>. looks. <laughs> Now, do you get teased about the name Paul McDonald? You work at the Farmer's Cabinet? Like More often than you'd think. <laughs> <laughs> like three cocktails in is when people start asking you about that. Exactly, and uh, <laughs> most people stay for a lot more than that. So yeah. you've got a little touch of molasses in the drink. Um, keep things dark and seasonal and rich for the, uh, for the cold weather. Okay. Uh, this is one of these cool house-made syrups that I was mentioning. This is our uh, house-made red plum shrub, very traditional American syrup. Shrub is a, uh, it's, it's a vinegar-based syrup. So we've got apple cider vinegar, fresh red plums, and sugar, which are just... Uh, nice and seasonal fall. Exactly, yep. You leave them together for a little while, let, uh, let time do what it does best. They'll integrate, and you have a delicious syrup in your hands. And then uh, the important bit, ah. London Dry Gin. Can you use any kind of gin, or do you have to use the beef eater? Um, for this particular drink, I recommend using Beef Eater or uh, London Dry at the very least. Okay. Um, <clears throat> different drinks can be more or less finicky. If you're using London Dry, you'll be pretty safe with this drink. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just uh, get your ice. A little bit of ice. So, so after a couple of these, who are singing, you know, Paul McDonald had a. They all do in chorus. Right? They sing it. <laughs> Here we go with the shake. So imagine being in the Crystal Tea Room with like dozens of Shake these it, shakers going on oh, at the same awesome. time. I mean, that's, it's, and there's going to be live music there, but that live music combined with this, this live, live music, music. You could dance to that, do a little perfect. nice little flamenco dance. Yeah, it's a thing of beauty. Sweet. <laughs> I love it. I love the technique. This is an art that we're seeing right here on the Dawn Show. Oh, he's got his. Throw a little bit of citrus oil over top lemon. of it. The flair there is, is oh, the, it's all on the wrist. And there you it's have choreographed. It. Now, the Brian, trade. your wife is is having the baby, so yes. uh, you know. Can I go chug ahead. this? <laughs> <laughs> it's stunning. I mean, wow. you get that that bright fruitiness from the shrub with that vinegar backbone. Mm -hmm. The citrus is brightening it up, and I can see what you're talking about. How that fresh lemon really mm -hmm. makes all the difference there. One hundred percent. Yeah, those lemon oils with the garnish. It's incredible. Yeah, if I could have a big to-go cup. Um, <laughs> a big gulp. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need that at Taste of Philly because you get to just walk around and have as many of these mm -hmm. as you want within nice. reason. Mm -hmm. Within Absolutely. reason, yes. right, for 35 bucks for the whole night. What else are you going to make? Um, I uh, want to make another interesting drink that we just added to our menu. This one is called the Au Natural. This Au is natural. a winter warmer. Okay, winter warmer. So uh, we are taking a bit of a leap on this one. We're serving a room temperature cocktail, so I just added Angostura bitters, which okay. is a very, very complex flavor. It just needs the tiniest little bitter, or it will overpower. This is uh, another one of those cool syrups that I mentioned. This is our house-made mulled wine reduction. Mm. Red wine, classic mulling spices, you just let them cook. Nice. Let them cook and cook and cook. And what you got here? Last of all, you have uh, Calvados. 
This is a, uh, an apple brandy that comes from Normandy, way up in the north of France. Mellow, delicious, very appley. Okay. I always think of Calvados as what all apples want to be when they pass into <laughs> the great apple hereafter. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> now, uh, I put them in a separate glass just in order to let it integrate and not get it splashing everywhere, but it's okay. just going to go right in this small snifter. You're going to pull out some of the fruitier aromas, a little bit of orange oil, but you don't even need that to serve it. Nice. Hmm. And that's the drink right there. All right, go well, for okay. it. Come on, Brian. All right, working hard this morning, Don. <laughs> and just imagine yourself coming, uh, coming into our place on a cold winter day, and you have that to warm you wow. up. Wow. Nice. I know I'm going to regret saying this in February, <laughs> but this drink is enough to make me wish for a cold, snowy night. <laughs> oh. It's so warming and so comforting. It's amazing. And it's a very different sort of winter cocktail uh, from the first mm -hmm. one, right? A lot of... Uh, range there that mm -hmm. you're working with. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's incredible. That's what we go for. And these are some of the drinks that you'll be featuring at Taste of Philly next Wednesday. Uh, yes, we will, yep. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And you have a new menu, too. Yes, we do. That's wonderful. Um, brand new menu, keeping it seasonal all the time. Oh, so that's great. At least uh, for fall and winter and for spring and summer, we get a new menu every time. And thank you so much. Can't thank Absolutely. you enough. thank you. This is wonderful. Brian and I will be right back with more Taste of Philly. <laughs>